Welcome in then to the latest uh, edition of Extra Time. There you go. There we go. Perfect. So, budgets. Thank you as always Bud for your tweets. Budgets. I don't have the, uh, Craig, I don't have the graphics. It's just budgets. Craig Burley <laughs> is with us. Shaka Hislop's internet is working, so he didn't have to make the two-hour drive to work. He's happy. He was here yesterday. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But he had to come yesterday because his internet wasn't working at home. He was supposed to be at home yesterday. His mic's not working. I'd have got this somewhat. Yeah, it's Look. working now. His air conditioning yeah. doesn't work. Shaka would have got me water. His lights don't there work. There you are. And Jan, of mm -hmm. course, is assuming the position in front of a hotel door. Jan, do you double lock it? Do you, do you can see, the, obviously, the, the safety lock when you go to sleep? Yes. Yes. But look, look at the new thing that I do have. I have the program in the door where the fire thing is. But what if so there's I a fire? So I kind of improve... Pardon? What if there's a fire, Jan? That is a hazard. Where will you know where to go? Yeah. I know the drill, John. I've been in a hotel for three years, so I know the drill. <laughs> I, I, I have my doubts that's the hotel. I think it's a camper van. You think so? Outside, <laughs> uh, outside <laughs> Erling Haaland's house. Truth, <laughs> truth. He's in the shed. <laughs> Erling Haaland's shed. Yeah. There he is. He's not the German football loving expert anymore. I know, it's the classic. It's not even going next he's, week. He's not even going to the biggest game in Germany next no, week. No, I he's know. He's going for a Norwegian loving. He's changed. He's definitely changed. <laughs> I don't have the questions. I'm going to have to read them. Uh, let's take a look at the first one, shall Not we? much these days, do we? Sorry? No. I put the glasses. The whole place is falling apart. There it is. Uh, question for you, Dan. How do you feel knowing that you clearly understand football more than Stevie uh, regards to Arsenal? <laughs> Stevie's going to have to pay me $50, isn't he? He's going to hate every moment of that. No, no. He, he actually, as much as you'll find that's a surprise, he doesn't mind parting with money. <laughs> you always said that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, he's gonna hate it. He's no, on, no, no. He's on tomorrow, by the way. Sling and all. Oh. He'll, he'll be there. But he hasn't. He told me he hasn't shaved yet because he can't shave. Why? He's got because he's left-handed and his left hand's in the sling. Can't shave with his right hand. I don't think I could. Could you shave with your other hand? It's a bit dangerous. I oh, know. Well, you can use an electric razor. Well, he's not going to pay for that, is he? <laughs> he's got dollar club <laughs> for this. Yeah. He's, he's got those, those that come every day in the post. Uh, that's that. Um, right, next question. Are you on tomorrow? Yes. Yes, press, I am. Press him on Arsenal. Uh, well, he's he got to admit now they've improved, surely. For the Old boys, show. what percentage chance <laughs> do you give Arsenal to finish ahead of Liverpool? <sighs> Ooh, good question. Uh, At the end of the okay, season. Boys. Um, go on, Shaq. Um... Given everything we've seen so far, I, I think it's, it's still it's 60-40 and, and it's only that low because of the number of games there are to go. But my word, Liverpool have been poor. 60-40 to Liverpool, Shaq? No, 60-40 that Arsenal finished. So right. it's Jan, Arsenal where do you start now? I'm going to try and find the questions we, we answer. Jan? Jan. Uh, are you walking away? You're not even yeah. listening to my uh, no, answer. Not, there, no, Dan. Okay. Hey, I, I don't you. really listen to your answer when I'm on screen anyway, Jan, so it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. No, uh, uh, listen, I, I think that what, what Arsenal did today was something new, a uh, new quote, because I think that today was a, was a bit of an exam for them because they're playing against Conte, cynical kind of approach. He would probably say to them, go into these kids. They're just softing around there in the midfield and we got high bag and the generals on our pitch. And today they stood up for themselves, Arsenal, winning 3-1 and they deservedly win against that Tottenham team. And 1-1, and one one, Tottenham should have done a lot better. So I would say that this is 51 Arsenal, 49 Liverpool. Oh. 60-40. For Arsenal? Yeah, at the moment. The oh. way Liverpool are defending. OK. Uh, should Liverpool switch to a back three, Craig, since playing with a four at the back seems not to solve their defensive problems? Also, this would allow Trent more freedom when playing forward, knowing he's got someone to cover for him. Well, actually, we've had this brief discussion before, a year or two ago. Uh, when Liverpool had that horrendous injury list at the back with Van Dijk out for the season, and yes. others were out, Gomez was out, Matip was out, and they had midfielders playing full back and centre half. He never changed to a back three. So he's unlikely to do it now, would be yeah. uh, my answer. And I can't remember him doing it in however many years. He's been at Liverpool. This is the way they play, and they're just going to have to get better within that system rather than yeah. changing the system, I think. I don't think he will do that. Yeah. 
Now, I'm just thinking it's interesting what we saw this week because you can mean whatever you want about, about, about Arnold, but I think that when we listen to Klopp at the press conference, this is a kind of philosophy. You know, he wants he means that when Arnold is actively going forward, that is the way to defend. And I think that he will think when he play three at the back and he will play at the five in the midfield, Trent Arnold, he will even do more defensively work and that will kind of hurt his ability to go forward because 3-5-2, for example, that is a quite vulnerable, vulnerable system because there is a lot of space behind you. And I remember a player like Kostic that I, I used to know a lot when I or see a lot when he played for Frankfurt. He, when he was playing that system, he was struggling because he, he ended up being a left back anyway and he didn't do enough going forward. So I'm not sure that that will help Arnold. Shaka, has anyone's reputation been more re rehabilitated than Shaka's these past several months? He was crucified by the media, the pundits, booed off the pitch, and fans wanted him what? gone. Did the removal of the burden of the captain's armband help improve his play? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think Granit Shaka's improvement has, has, has dated back even before, even before um, these last few months. Uh, he, he has he's, he's been he's been he's been well very good compared to, to what he was for at least last season and into this season maybe the timing of the question uh, uh, today is poor in that I, I felt he could have done a whole lot better for for that Spurs goal I'm, I'm not sure why you're trying to, to head that ball back there to Gabriel oh. um, but he, he has been good no question no y question yeah why are you I, laughing I, I was I, because I thought the question what about, was about Shaka. <laughs> I couldn't believe what what has he done, Shaka? That is that his reputation is back. I, I, I too I am much that. improved, Jan. I am. There's been no <laughs> criticism around any of my power rankings. I'll have you know. Just don't put Shaka here, up and Messi into Twitter. Right? <laughs> that definitely he, he is definitely not true. He definitely has been rehabilitated. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You didn't want to go, go for it. <laughs> rehabilitated. He doesn't go on as many holidays these days. No. He's he's also he's opened his own uh, removals business. Yes. Yeah. He's just ferrying kids around and yep. moving houses. He does anything but. Work. No, e exactly. And, so, as, and as we learned yesterday, I'm very fast. Yes, it's so this is. Yeah, very well. Um, so we look back at um, Shaka's FIFA rankings compared to Ali's FIFA rankings, right. and Shaka was faster than Ali. <laughs> I don't think you were around in FIFA. Well, you might. No, I don't think you were around in FIFA days. Well, when did it start? I don't know. Well, it started. He had to be. And it Craig's, start. Craig's younger than me. Mightn't look it. But, if you but were faster is. than me, no chance. The old FIFAs were like early 90s, weren't they? I wasn't around. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think they get it. <laughs> I, I didn't stop playing until 2003. Can, can, you, can you imagine when I tried to make Craig's face without <laughs> a smile or anything? <laughs> I got a 10 uh, for anger. Uh, yes, 10 for anger. <laughs> Speed, 6. Uh, skill, you blonde, six. Yeah, no teeth. Yeah. Anger, uh, looks, 10. Anger, yeah. anger, 10. Looks, 10. Oh, my anger God. 10. Looks, 10 with the blonde hair. You'd have been a championship manager, wouldn't you, back in the day? I don't play these games. I have no idea what that is. No, that's a good game. That's where you're the manager of the team. Yeah. Oh, it's very exciting. Oh, that was exciting. Yeah. I'm going to give you a sensible answer. Yeah, did you always sign yourself? Uh, no, but I, I stopped playing when my son was five because I was losing against him and then I stopped playing FIFA. But I love the football managers thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I have my questions and I've lost them again. Here, here we go. Useless. Here we go. I tell you, one of the things with Shaka. Right. Shaka or Shaka? Who are we talking about? Saka. We're talking about Granite Jaka because he's improved. Okay. Unlike. <laughs> the, uh, I think having Thomas Party. Fit and playing consistently well, whenever yeah. that, well that is, and I think he is playing well, takes a big burden off Jacker as well. For Jan, if Bayern Munich go in search of a striker, how do you think a player like Tammy Abraham can do in a team like Bayern? Oh, he would do well because every striker would do well at Bayern because there's, there's come to a lot of chances. But I don't think they will go to Tammy Abraham. That's the interesting thing about Bayern at the moment is that they are going for Harry Kane. I mean, I, I mean, I can't see that happening. Sorry, uh, and Bayern fans hate me for that because they they will they will like a number nine. They they like we said in the in the, in the main program we 
They wanted to have Haaland, they wanted to keep Lewandowski, and then they lost them both, but it, they need a number nine. And uh, they hope that Harry Kane won't uh, sign uh, or extend his contract, that, I, that is, I guess it's up to 2024, but he has to start talking about a contract next season. So I don't think they will take Tammy, Tammy Abraham. Will he do well for them? Of course he will. Every Bayern Munich striker will score 25 goals. Uh, Jan, obviously you posted a picture today of you and Jules together. I think it was in the Arsenal press room. A lot of people questioning whether or not you're tall or Jules is short. He's very short. Yeah, he's, he's, I think uh, he's, he's shorter no, than me. Uh, <laughs> I think he is. is he so some no, things no, in no, life he, are he, an impossibility. No, I, I, no, I, no, I'm just joking. He, uh, he is a tall French guy. He's not tall. I think he's, I've met him. He's, I think he's like five he's four. Very, it was, it was very, it was fantastic. No, it's the second time, it's the second time I met him, and he's much, much taller than I thought. Shaq, where did you meet Jules? <laughs> I've never met Jules. Well, so how do you know how tall he is? <laughs> I, I just can't imagine Jokes. another grown person being shorter than you. <laughs> Fully grown person. Yeah, but I'm still growing, Shane. That's the difference. But it's, but it's still, it, <laughs> it's just still, but, but boys, for me sitting in, in these hotel rooms around Europe, and just see that you guys are real. I didn't know that. I don't, when yeah. I meet Jules, this is the second time I, I, I met him. I thought Jules was a, a thing that was made up. I think he was a cartoon from <laughs> Obelix and Asterix, and suddenly it's, it, it's, he's there. He's there! He was over with all the journals a few months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was in the... He came uh, and said hello, isn't it? And then you've got Gab, who's just kind of bigger than you would expect, in all, in just all, <laughs> everywhere, all areas. And I don't think he's bigger than expected. He's as expected. But Jules is not that... No. He, he's not that small, is he? Jules I mean, he was, no. he was sitting down, I think. He's not really 5'4". <laughs> he, he was next to me. He was stood up at sitting down. Jan, there. Wikipedia uh, says you're 6'5". Is that right? No, incorrect. How much is that in centimetre? I'm, I, I'm six seven, I think. I'm, I'm six, very, very tall. <laughs> uh... No, but but it's interesting. Can you imagine if you if you meet Craig Burley for the first time and, and people are like, are oh, you that angry in real life? No, you know? no. I mean, Charming, <laughs> helpful. And Craig's quite nice to start with, then he turns. I um, know, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And you get to know him. I played against. <laughs> I played against him. I'm, char I'm a charming. 195 <laughs> centimeters, apparently, Jan. Uh, on a good day, with Alex Alexander McQueen's shoe, I would probably be that. No chance. Final question: Will Harland, um, your friend Erling Harland's dad, got some stick yesterday? Jan, for what he had to say about two and a half years here, three years there with regarding Germany, France, Italy, Spain, uh, which yeah, leads to this question. Yeah. Will Haaland's clubs in Spain, Italy and France be determined by Jan's favourite vacation spots or by what cities and hotels he collects <laughs> rewards points from? Yeah, ab ab absolutely. I mean, you can just have a look. You can just have a look what he did after Salzburg. We had a, we had a TV rights there now in Germany and then Premier League in Norway, and uh, he went there. And uh, yes, I got, I saw that Alfie got some sticks. See, I have him pitch side tomorrow, uh, and we, we will talk about that, because I think I need a bit warmer now in the winter. So maybe if we can get Elling moved in January to, yep. to, to maybe Barcelona or something, <laughs> I, 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 need some, I need some heat. Oh, there uh, we go. And, uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, so he will probably do that. I demand that we have a... a we demand what do you demand? What do you demand? I demand that we have a... some sort of finality to who is the smallest ESPN FC pundit. <laughs> Personality, well, journalist, we, we whatever do... you want to call them. We get them all here and we'll line them up at the back of the so studio. It would go, and it's <laughs> done once and for all. It would go Jules. No, 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 we, we, we must... Jules, five foot four. No, everybody's involved. So Seb, like Seb, five foot five. I'm five nine, so probably a bit of a jump there. Well, up go, to me. well, well uh, Herc Gomez isn't exactly a giant, No, Her, Herc's quite tiny So we could well. get all these but people. I, I... In fact, if we're really desperate, we'll get some of the Deportes Who? boys in. Because they're not the tallest either. Who would be the biggest? Shaka? K I'm bigger than K, aren't I? I'm taller than K. What? I'm saying nothing. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Sh Shaka, would you be the tallest or Jan? How many centimetres are you, Shaq? I think I'm taller than Jan. There we go. I, I don't know how many centimetres I am. I'm six, I'm, I'm, I'm I, six four and a half. I remember half playing as... I, I remember playing as Shaka. I felt he was very small. 
There you are, because Gab is 6'5". <laughs> Gab is not 6'5". He is 6'5". Hey, he's Shaq, huge, Gab. Are you up for this? The only problem is you're, you're going to have to come in for it. <laughs> Everyone's going to line up against the wall. <laughs> it's not, not yeah. a hardship for you. It's all right. It's okay. Give it, give it to Gab. It's okay. Give it to right. Gab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gab's a toilet. Right. Right. Seb's just messaged me. Do you think it's some abuse about my height? Five foot five, you snake. <laughs> That's not very nice, is it, Seb? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Seb. <laughs> that was generous. Does he really get nothing better to do with his Saturday nights? Well, whoever's watching I, this hasn't got anything better to do with their Saturday nights. It's kind of like... Him and Gomez, five foot, I reckon, between the two of them. Yeah. Yes. What about 11 Al, feet? Al, I reckon Al, 11 feet between But they the wear the telly award on their head, so that makes them taller. <laughs> Seb's <laughs> a bit, Seb, bit 5'8 if he was sat on a horse. <laughs> that is it. We're a nonsense conversation this has been. Uh, uh, that is it. Uh, we are done. Have a lovely time tomorrow with uh, the Harlands, Jan. Uh, Shaq, are you working tomorrow? No. No, no surprise. <laughs> All to work on Sundays. Oh, dear. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.